Hello everyone, Amud here from eTarget Common YouTube channel and I am here with another array based Java programming question. So in this video we are going to learn to find the maximum number from a given array. So let me write down the uh, problem statement here like uh, we need to find the maximum from a given array okay so this is actually a very simple program and you must have faced this uh, programming question in interviews as well but uh, but i want to cover this program because uh, because it has some uh, trick part here and uh, which is generally observed by interviewers in in the interview okay so as i always say that we should all we should ask correct questions so that we can better understand the question and then we can decide the logic as well like i have explained in my previous programs so here when i said that uh, find the maximum from a given array so here i am not mentioning whether my array is sorted or not okay because if the array is sorted then we can get the uh, last of first index element based on your sorting uh, based on sorting like if it is ascending or descending right so but here we, here the interview is not saying that or here i am not mentioning that it is sorted array or unsorted array okay so if the first question what you should ask here if the array is sorted okay so if the array is sorted then the logic will be very simple you just need to ask like in which order is it sorted if it is like ascending or descending so based on that you can get the first or last element which will be the maximum okay but but in interviews it will be always unsorted array it will it will the array will not be sorted then you need to find the um, maximum out of it so the trick part is here like i have seen uh, people with two years of experience of phrases they always go and say that they will go and sort the array first and then they will pick the first element if they are um, doing the sorting in ascending order right so whenever you uh, when the moment you say that you are going to sort the array to find the maximum i think you will be rejected okay there is no problem in the logic like you can cannot sort and find the maximum no there is no problem in the logic but in interview interview expect that you understand the time complexity and uh, how what is the optimal programming because whatever sorting algorithm you take it will take more than one uh, more than one scan of elements in the array okay so if you are going to sort the element sort the array and then get the maximum then it is not optimal okay and this is the trick part which is expected by interviewer in the interview like you should not go and sort the array okay but that is the first thought even i have done the same mistake i remember that even when i take the mock interviews and other things so i notice like people just say that we will sort the array no that is not the correct way we should think the optimal way as well okay so uh, let me show you one array here like suppose we have one array called 6 uh, then 2 then Mm-hmm. 99, then 11, then 5. Okay. Suppose this is an array where we have five elements, and we need to find like which is the maximum. So, by looking at this array, you can say that the maximum element is 99, which is my expected one. Right? Simple. But how we'll uh, write the logic, or what should be the logic without sorting the array? You have one option, like you can simply sort it like two in the ascending order. Two five, then six, then eleven, then ninety nine. Okay, then you can get the last element, which will be your maximum one. Okay, but this is not optimal way, and we should not go for it in the interview at least. Okay, what is the other way? Okay, so this approach will not be recommended. So let me remove this here. So if you see uh, this, uh, whatever. Technique I am going to explain now. This is generally used uh, uh, while solving the problems, like uh, like the positive assumption. 
okay like in the previous program also i assumed that both the arrays are equal same thing here you should go and assume that the first element okay means the zeroth index element in the array is the maximum one that we are assuming okay so what i am assuming that 6 is means uh, suppose if this is uh, array called a then we are simply assuming that a of 0 is my the maximum one okay we have not verified or something we just we are assuming that the first element which is called zeroth index element in the array is the maximum number in the array okay now we will go and iterate the array okay and we are going to check like the element in the uh, index at a particular index is greater than the my assumed one or not means if any element in at any index is greater than my assumed one okay then i will replace uh, means i will i will pick that one that new number as a maximum number because that is maximum okay just for an example uh, let me show you one more point here like what i said that after picking the first index uh, uh, zeroth index element as the maximum we need to iterate the array right so we need to iterate from where right why i will go and iterate the first one the means the zeroth one there is no need right because that is the assumption and we should go from the next element that will be the first index element we should exclude from the exclude the zeroth index element because that is uh, no meaning of that that is we are doing the duplicate work okay so what i need to do if uh, the assumed one that means six if six is greater than Uh, sorry uh, if the let's go for uh, means a of 1 a of 1 what is the value of a one, a of 1 is 2 if it is greater than my assumed one okay 6 so it's not the grade 2 is not greater than 6 then still uh, then at this case my maximum will be still 6 only right then we'll go to the move to the next element that is 99 is 99 greater than 6 right so 99 obviously greater than 6 then this at this point what i'm going to do we'll replace our assumed one with the new element that means 6 will be replaced by 99 right we having we are having condition where we are iterating and checking so now the assumed one is still not finalized the assumed one but not finalized maximum number is 99 okay we'll move ahead what is the next element 11 is the 11 greater than 99 this time because our maximum has been changed so is 11 greater than 99 no right so my maximum will be still 99 and same thing for 5 is 5 greater than 99 no right so my element uh, my maximum will be 99 and by this we are at end of the array and we uh, there no need of further scanning right because in one scan only we are able to find the maximum okay and that is the answer here like we have we have found the maximum that is 99 and you know it only required you one scan of the uh, one scan of elements in the array which is much better than uh, by sorting the array and then picking it up okay so i think that i am able i am able to make you understand the logic behind it how to ask the right questions and based on the answer like based on the answer to your question you need to decide the logic okay so let me go and create a new class here and i will name it find maximum from unsorted array okay it is more meaningful so what i'm going to do i will have the main method okay main method and i will have one array called int a and what i'll do i'm going to put the same element whatever we saw the example here okay so i need to put the comma here
okay simple like we have simple one array, uh, array which is unsorted i want to find the maximum so what we are going to do we are going to assume that the zeroth index is the maximum okay so int assumed max okay will be a of 0 correct so we know that this way uh, now assumed max will be 6 now what i need to do iteration and already i said that we should exclude the zeroth index because oh, because we we have already assumed that one from that element we need to compare then why to start the iteration from the zeroth index so what i am going to do int i equal to 1 right because array index array index is start from 0 so i start from 1 that means 2 99 11 5 then i we need to go end of the array okay then i plus plus okay simple logic if a of i okay a of i means if the next element in the array is greater than my assumed element okay assumed max okay then what i need to do assumed max will be what a of i if the next element in the array is greater than my assumed maximum then go and change uh, replace the value okay and once you are done with the iteration you will have the maximum element in your um variable called assumed max this out maximum age what assumed max okay so let me run this program and we should see the proper answer most probably okay max is 99 okay so let me change the value like suppose what i'll do if i put uh, minus 99 okay minus 99 so what should be the answer here let me run and let me show you max is 11 yeah so this is the logic so program is very simple program is really very simple but in uh, by asking this type of question interview wants to uh, know like how much you can think okay or you are simply mug up some program and you are writing the answers okay so try to build the logic think or uh, think on the problems whenever it is asked in interviews and because whenever you thinking uh, maybe you might find some better solution okay so if you have any doubt please comment on this video and if you want me to cover any specific programming question please comment that also or you can send out a mail to me okay and if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe share with others thank you everyone